What's going on everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how you can edit your email templates in Shopify. So these are going to be the email notifications that go out automatically based on pre-existing conditions such as an order confirmation email. These are automatically set up in Shopify here. So we're going to go over how you can actually edit them from the Shopify admin. Before we go into it, I just want to quickly talk about our sponsor ProfitCalc, which is a one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store letting you understand how your business is performing in real time. And there's a link in the description description below to start a 15 day free trial. Now we're going to show a quick video on the full feature set. Let's dive into it now, how we can actually edit these email templates. And so once you navigate to your Shopify admin, you simply want to go down here to settings on the bottom left. Once you're in settings, you want to scroll down even further to notifications. And this is where all your email template notifications are going to be organized. We can see here fulfillment requests, shipping updates, draft orders, order confirmation, order edited. There's quite a few email templates here. There's even things such as customer account creation, along with settings on the double opt-in. If we scroll back to the top here, there is an overall customization setting. So it's going to allow you to add a logo and a color to your email templates. This is pretty basic here. So your logo is just going to show up on the top and you can change the accent color. It's going to be the button color here. So rather than the blue, I can set it to green. And if I reload the page, you can see the updated color. So it's going to be the basic email template. Shopify is going to create this. Overall, it does do exactly what it's meant to do. It's very clear. It's very easy to understand. But the language is set there and the styling is set. And it is pretty standard. So if a lot of customers end up shopping from stores on Shopify, it's not going to really separate you. Make that really cool customized experience. So what you can do here is you can actually go and edit the individual templates. You can edit the language. We can see all the different conditions here, different HTML, different conditions based on what to show. So it is a little complex if you don't have an understanding of this, but it gives you some liquid variables. So this is the templating language they use. It's also quite easy to edit some of the language. So as we see here, it says you'll receive an email when your order is ready for pickup. Maybe you want to say you receive a text message from our founders when your order is ready for pickup, Maybe making it more personal. You could say someone's name. I could say it's Jamie. So you can enter the language here. You can enter the organization of it as well. If you have a good understanding, that's essentially there. So I'm going to leave that page without saving it. We can go through and actually edit the language. And if you have the knowledge, you can edit the variables and the styling as well on how each of these are organized. If you do end up making any mistakes, you can just revert it to the default. I do want to mention something else. It's called orderly emails. So these are email templates and allows it or allows you to easily edit your email notifications to match your brand. Now it is free to install, but each email theme costs $99 per year, which is decently expensive, but depending on your store and how customized you want to make the brand, and I'm assuming you do want to customize it because you've been looking into it here, you can make really nicely branded emails that are really easy for you to customize. Additionally, you can go and hire someone possibly on Fiverr, to create you some custom email templates. And then when you have those email templates, you can simply copy and paste them in here, giving you that custom theme organization. So overall, this concludes the video on how to edit the Shopify email templates. Let me know in the comments here if you have any questions. And I would love if you hit that like and subscribe button as well as that really helps the channel out. I also want to mention ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator. And there's a link to a 15-day free trial and that's available on the Shopify app store. So the link is in the description below. So make sure you check that out there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.